my name is Dakota Henry, and today I'm here with Christy Lipty, and she is the former program director here at Cite des Arts, and she is currently the co-founder and, uh, and a volunteer for the Steampunk Festival here in Lafayette. And I'm here to know more about that. Right. Well, three years ago, we developed a festival to celebrate the 10th year anniversary of the founding of Cite des Arts, and we thought we'd go for something kind of unique. We know Lafayette loves to dress up, so we went with the Steampunk theme. And a lot of people didn't know what that was. Steampunk started as a literary genre, and so it's just kind of like the late 1800s meets science fiction, um, the future. So it can be a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but it's just a lot of fun. Um, the second year we did it, we decided to um, also bring in the element of making, because we did notice the first year that everyone who came made their own outfit and made their sort of character up. So we've, we've hooked up with the Science Museum, and now it's about building, hacking, developing, inventing. Anybody who, who has an idea, I guess, and who likes to make things is welcome to this festival as well. We have some very important sponsors who are makers in the area, Begno Manufacturing, Noble Plastics, and we also had the Acadiana Advocate. They partnered up with us, and it was really very, very, very helpful to have such great sponsors. So how successful was Lobster Assessment? Wow, it's grown every year that we've done it. Last year, I think we had at least 2,000 people, and we had a bunch of students involved, especially from the STEM Magnet Academy. They brought their robots, and um, other kids played music. There was a steampunk second line through the park. It was completely amazing. We also partnered up with the library, um, because it started, steampunk started as a literary genre. So library came, and we're encouraging writers who uh, write fantasy fiction to do readings. Um, we also had the Louisiana Beard and Facial Hair Association show up, and they did some uh, beard contests for us. It was just a blast. So if people want to get involved, have joined the beard contest, right. all that good stuff, how do they find out more information? They can go to our website, which is uh, the Steampunk and Makers Fair .org, or they can check out our Facebook page, or they can call Daniel Ladmoreau in the office at CTA Days Art at 337-291-1122 and get all the information that they need, and I hope that everybody participates. I believe that this festival is great for Lafayette because this is a very creative community, and I think it's going to just grow ex exponentially every year. So if you want to remind our audience when and where are the yes. festivals? That's right. It's downtown Lafayette, November the 7th. It's in Park Sans Souci and the Science Museum. And we'll be having our schedule online, so folks will be able to check out who are the bands that are going to play and what, what other specialty acts. We had some sideshow acts last year that were amazing. Hey. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope everyone got so much out of this as much as I did. So thank you so much for Thank you. I hope to see you all there.